how are you all doing? I hope you're uh, coping with this lockdown and working from home. Uh, you've had a good Easter holiday um, and now it's time to get going again. So what are we doing this term? This term we are going to start looking at multiculturalism. We're going to look at how Cambridge is multicultural and then we're going to make a case study of a multicultural aspect of Cambridge by looking at the new mosque in Cambridge, which we will come to later down the line. So let's be clear. Um, this work I'm going to set you today is not to be handed in directly. This is background work. At the end of the unit, there will be an assessment and the assessment is the only work that we want handing in to your teacher on Teams, nothing else. Don't want emails. Don't want Google Docs share, we just want it handed in on Teams and lots of you have worked out how to do that, which is great. Okay, so lesson one, what's it all about? This lesson one is about something called multiculturalism. What does that mean? Well, work out, first of all, culture, what culture is, and then multi, which means lots of, and then we add them together, we get multiculturalism, lots of different cultures, and Britain, um, is a multicultural country and that's what we're going to look at here. So there's a PowerPoint which you will find um, in the Teams assignment aspect which is um, pretty straightforward to find and you follow the tasks. First bit is about what is multiculturalism and what you like and dislike about multiculturalism. So work it out, work your way through and make some decisions yourself. Some of the positive aspects and maybe some of the negative aspects. Once well, you work through the, uh, the PowerPoint uh, towards the end on slide eight, there are four specific case studies about something called religious expression. Now in a multicultural society, we have lots of different religions living in the same place. And therefore, when we talk about religious expression, we, we consider how you can express yourself. Is it about what you wear? Is it about what you do? Is it about what you believe? And there's four case studies there, which are pretty obvious. And um, it's actually to identify differences between religious freedom and any problems that religious freedom might cause. And then finally, um, create a word map of key words from this lesson about multiculturalism and religious expression. There's a sample one there on page nine for you to look at. And then you make your own to sum up what we've done in this lesson. Let's be clear, all this work needs to be done in a folder or in your book, depending on if you took it home or not. This is not to be handed in, this is background work for what's coming next. Okay, so this work is due to begin on Monday the 20th of April, and there's a week's worth of work, so it's one lesson of IY, and then I'll be setting you another one a week later. So I hope that's straightforward, I hope you're all okay. It won't be long before we're back at school, I'm sure, and we'll pick it up from there. So crack on, do your best, and let's see what you can understand. See you soon.